guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and today I want to talk about uh, Volt Views. So I have a Volt View. This is uh, with PDM Professional, but uh, everything that I talk about today is also going to apply to PDM Standard. So bonus for you guys. So I have a, a Blueberry uh, in the industry. Sometimes you'll hear us call these things Blueberries, and of course you double click it. You have to log in. Uh, if you're using PDM with uh, Windows Authentication, it'll automatically log you in. Uh, if you're using standard or set it the other way, database authentication, then you have to put in your password. So I've got a, a vault. I've got a couple folders in here. I've got a couple files, uh, mainly SOLIDWORKS files, but you can put anything in the vault. And uh, so if you delete something, I want to show you something real quick. Let's just delete this guy. Thesis outline. He's a Word doc. And uh, it's not that it's actually gone. It's gone to the recycling bin. Uh, if you don't know how to get there, you can go to the properties here. Under deleted items, you see I've got quite a few deleted items. Um, in here, there's permissions for destroying the actual file. That will actually get rid of it and it's gone out of the database. You'll never see it again. Uh, but if it's in the recycling bin, then I can recover it. And then it can come back in and I can check it out, change it, check it back in, and keep doing versions and stuff with that. All right, let's talk about, uh, so that's, you know, files, deleting files. Of course, you can just drag and drop and add new files in. But let's talk about uh, versions real quick. So I have a, uh, an assembly. It has uh, three versions in the vault. So you can see the little preview tab. Uh, one little quick thing, whenever you're browsing, make sure that you're on the data card tab because you can browse a lot quicker, a lot faster without having to load the preview in there. Uh, there are some other little options, and I'll try and put some little tips and tricks in here as, as we go. But uh, on this one, I do want to uh, look at the light assembly. It's a small assembly, so it loads up pretty quickly. And notice it says version 3 of 3. So what's going on is the first number here is the file that's on my local machine, the file that's on my hard drive right here on the client. So the last one is how many versions are actually on the server. So there's three versions in the server, so every time I check a file out, it's on my local machine, I change it, I check it in, I'll get another version in the server, and hopefully everybody's working with the latest and greatest. And we have tools and buttons that we can make sure that people are only looking at the latest versions. But uh, if you have permissions, if you have rights, you can go get a previous version. So I'll tell it to go get version number two. And you'll see it tells you, oh, this is red, this is bad. So on my local machine, I've got red, and you'll see that the uh, I changed the angle of the head on that thing, so it's straight up, okay? Um, but it, on my local machine, it's number two. There's actually three in the vault, so if I want to go get the latest version, click on that. It's going to go grab uh, version three of three. Now it's it's got a little equal sign, so what's on my local machine is equal to what's in the vault, and uh, you can kind of see... I've turn the head at a little bit of an angle so flashlight shines a little differently. All right, so that's a little bit about versions. And um, so if I check something out, so notice that this little clip slot is actually checked out. So I may be changing it, maybe editing it or something like that. And uh, maybe something happens to, uh, to this vault view. So let's, let's take a look at vault views. Um, all of those files in the flashlight actually reside on my local machine. So if I do want to clean off a little bit of hard drive space, um, I can go up to the very top level of the vault view, right click on it and say clear local cache. Now what that's going to do is it's going to clear all the files out of my machine except for the files of course that are checked out. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and I double click on there, and hey it still looks like I have folders and files and stuff. Well, these are really just SQL remnants of, of what's in the database. Um, so let's, let's take a look at this real quick. So I'm going to go to the version tab. I'm going to click on this little thesis outline. So notice it says that there's one version in the vault. Now I've got a minus sign because it doesn't yet exist on my local machine. It doesn't exist on my client. Okay. Now when I click on the data card, okay, it's got some, some metadata that it's pulled down, but it hasn't actually pulled the actual Word document to my local machine yet. It's just the metadata. Now I go to the preview tab. Now guess what happens? Notice that the version now says one of one. So because I'm looking at a preview of this Word doc, now it has to copy it from the server to my local machine 
and of course show me the preview of that file from my local machine. So that's a little bit about how this stuff works. If I go to the little flashlight, let's go to the version tab real quick, click on this guy. Mine, there's two versions in the vault. I don't have it on there. Hit the little preview. Now it's got to copy it down. Now I have version two on my local machine. Of course, there's two in the vault on the server there. All right. Now this guy, let's go to that, and I'm going to click on clip slotted right there. Notice he's version 101. So there's only one version in the vault, and there's only one version on my local machine. Now I couldn't delete the vault view because he was he was uh, checked out. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a undo checkout. So hopefully everything is checked in and it's not so let me make sure just undo check out on all those guys looks good and I'm gonna verify this uh, a lot of times I'll do a complete search and there's a little uh, version uh, there we go checked in checked out I want to just want to see the uh, checked out files so there's folders which are fine I don't have any problem with that those are a little bit different we don't have to worry about those things so it's mainly just the files themselves so here we go everything is really checked in so there's really nothing if I clear off my hard drive everything will be totally cleared off here and now I should be able to delete this vault view and when I delete it I'm gonna go ahead and say hey keep any of the files and folders on there so what's gonna happen give it a, a minute or two there we go. Let me resort my folders here. So that, notice I have a Darcy folder now. If I double click on it, it's just those folders and files and the regular folders and files. And that's kind of the thing is anything that was local on the client, it does have to copy and make those exact same folder structures and stuff on my local machine. Um, so you can kind of see any of the things that were local to my machine, those are the things that I still get. Now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and rename this real quick. There we go. And all of those files are still on the server. They're just not on this client machine. So we have to, I call it growing a blueberry. We got to make a vault view. So there's a couple different ways you could do it. If I go down to the start button and go down to my SolidWorks PDM. There we go. And underneath here, there's going to be this thing called view setup. So I'm going to select on that. It has a little wizard. I need to add a uh, server. Oh, there it is. Uh, if it doesn't list it, then you do have to hit the add button and go ahead and type in the name of the server. Sometimes it can't broadcast uh, all the way across different domains and stuff. Um, this one's there. So there's your server name. Just hit next. There's all of the different vaults that you have and any uh, vault views that you may have. Uh, because I deleted my vault view, uh, I can add it back in there. Go ahead and say next. Um, I do typically put it on the C drive. This is kind of the best place to put it. Uh, that way everybody across the entire, whoever, the entire company uh, is going to have the same nomenclature. If I send somebody with a link to C drive, Darcy, and then whatever else the file name is, uh, everybody's is going to be identical. And I do typically do it for all users. That way if an admin logs in, then he's still going to have access to the vault view. All right. So there we go. That's it. You click three little buttons, hit finish. Uh, now I need to log in. I've got a super secret password. It's completed. There we go. I'm going to reorder that. Now I have my vault view again. I can double click on it. I'm already logged in. And there's all the files again. Okay. Now none of these, again, this is a different, totally different folder than the other one. Uh, this is a vault view now. So of course, thesis outline, there's version number one. If I go look at the preview, now it pulls it down to my local machine and he lives on my, my local machine. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you understand a lot more about vault views and how they work and how they function. And hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.